great morning. Um, whew. Last night, I was fortunate. I didn't have any triggers last night. I actually slept without waking up screaming. That was a blessing. But I got up this morning and I went to change my top to put something else on. You know, this is, yeah, this is. And it triggered back here. So I can feel today that, and it was a long one. It was lasted five, six minutes, all in the, that one region in the head. Thank God there was a Lakota prayer music song on that, you know, I tried to just function with, get in tune with, and that did help me get through it. But, um, Anyway, I slathered up with, put this on because it's easy to, but here you can see that I've still got that rash going and stuff. It's all the way down here. And uh, it's triggering, you know, right in here, this area is the most sensitive and right back here by the hairline. Ow. <laughs> So anyway, I'm just putting a lot of coconut oil on there and stuff so it doesn't dry out. Because anytime I move my head, it stresses there. But I am grateful that I did get a night of rest. Thank goodness. Anyway, today I pulled three decks. We're doing the Wisdom of the Oracle. We'll do one from the Sacred Destiny Oracle and the Sixth Sense Connection Oracle. And let's see, let me move this back so I've got a little room here. Let's see, Ooh, oh my goodness, looks like I'm in the middle of a, oh my goodness, I don't have any room here. And then I've got all these medicine bottles up here, junk I gotta take. I got up this morning, my alarm went off at 7, and I took all my pills at once like I'm supposed to do. <laughs> so at the moment, I'm feeling, they just make you so dizzy feeling. Just, ah, uh, this misery. Okay, so let's see what we get. Okay, first card is Long Night Moon Darkness. Long Night Moon Darkness. Let's see what the other cards are. I may have to read this card. Um, see where she's going with this. Take that out in case. Let's go to the Wisdom Oracle. of these cards are fun. They're kind of like seashells. So let's shuffle them up and see what we get this morning. Next card. No place like home. I like that. It's like a bird house, but it's a regular house. Okay. And last but not least, if I can get them out of the box. Oh. 
I will be so happy when my house sells in Florida and I can get set up here. I've got so many more cards and they're all packed away. I, you know, it's really hard to get to them while I'm in here. But I do have a couple of decks coming. I couldn't resist it. It's been so long since I've had any new cards. Challenge when they get here is to where am I going to put them? <laughs> okay, last card is healer. Healer. So we've got healer. No place like home and the long night, moon, darkness. So I think we're going to read the long night, moon, darkness so I can get an idea of where we're going with this. Oh no, that's a spiraling tornado. We won't want that one. Have I got the right book? Hold on a minute. Where's the other? Yeah, this is the right one. I read the right number. 40. Sorry about that. Hmm. Maybe it's weird. Um, sorry about that. This is a hard one to find. Maybe, maybe it's thirty seven, thirty nine, forty. Nope, that's not it. Well, this is very weird. Oh, it's got to be in here somewhere. I'm sorry. Oh my god. It's not on the page number. And then looking it up, maybe it's under long. It's uh, no, it's not there. Um, look up darkness, but it's Yeah, because under page 40, it's a continuation of another thing. I may just have to... Uh, figure it out myself, because the card is not coming up, and it's... Very weird. It's like this card does not exist in here. See all the other ones? <laughs> okay, the mystery card. Mystery card. Let me look up this one. This is very weird. Very weird indeed.
Okay. Healer. <laughs> Ten minutes in and we've done nothing yet. Oh my God. Sorry. You should work in the healing arts or helping people in some other way as you have natural healing abilities. Certain people or situations will leave you feeling drained. Learn how to strengthen your health and well-being by fortifying your energy shield. Daily spiritual practice protection practices will help you let go of negative energy you may have picked up inadvertently. Make time for fun and laughter to bring you into balance and harmony. So um, the affirmation for this is I'm keeping my energy field strong while I help others. And then the crystals you use with this are smoky quartz, amethyst, black obsidian, and healer's gold. Okay. So to be a healer, sometimes you have to understand that you have to go into the long night moon darkness period. To sometimes again stop and figure things out sometimes it just takes quite a while uh, sometimes it's things that you have uh, repressed or suppressed that needs to come out and be looked at okay so that eventually you can find that there is no place like home wherever you're at and if you get those things straightened out really wherever you're at you can feel like you're at home okay but you've got to heal those things you have to look at those things you know you can't be in denial of them that's not going to work and you can't be in the pity party about them um it's not going to work. You need to keep a good frame of mind and be willing to sometimes go through those long stretches of darkness to come out the other side um, to finally get a, a good healing on whatever it is you are dealing with. So I'm going to leave this here. It's kind of short and sweet today be a healer if you think you know if you're a healer you can't always expect and think that the minute you do a healing on somebody that you're done and that's enough and it's going to take care of it um, sometimes like it says you got to be prepared for the long haul and uh If it's something that's very deep embedded, you have that long night of the soul of searching and um, confronting things realistically to finally uh, end the charge of that. Okay. Um, because at some point in time or other, We'll, we'll be facing that long, dark night of the soul. Um, during that time, don't give up. Things will change. But again, sometimes things take, uh, they take time, time to change. They're not going to just happen like that. Um, so again, healers need to know that if you're working on healing someone and there's something deeply embedded, it may take a while of continued work with them to uh, lessen the hardship of it, to uh, you know get to the, the seed of what it is, not just the external thing. You know, you really got to go all the way in and... Um, pull the weeds out of that garden and take care of it okay so i hope somebody's gotten something from this thank you for tuning in i'll see you online aho